Hello, welcome. I'm Stevie. And I'm Hetty. Now, today we are looking at our business English lesson, and we actually have a dialogue. Okay, we're going to split it up into two days, and we've got a couple of dialogues today, and then we're going to be looking more about、uh, journalism、mm. tomorrow. Now, our title today is called Journalist, and Do you know what the difference is between a journalist and a reporter? No. Well, they're kind of the same, but reporters,、uh, usually we would say reporter is maybe the person who is on camera、mm. outside talking about what's going on.、Uh, and a journalist is a person who actually、uh, looks for and writes news stories. Oh, okay. Now, a journalist might also be on TV. Uh, so they're kind of similar, but sometimes separate. Okay, I see. So we're today talking about the so-called journalist. That just now, Stevie has explained that journalist and reporter are a little different. Journalist is more focused on reporting on the surface, such as reporters, newspapers, and other reporters. If we talk about reporter, he is more like a TV reporter. He is the person you usually see on TV news, who holds a microphone in front of the camera and tells you what happened today. The person in the front of the camera is called a reporter. So there is a little different difference. So in today's dialogue, we'll be looking at a conversation,、uh, something about journalism with a journalist. Hmm, that's right. So we're today 要看的就是所谓的报社记者他在工作的时候会遇到的一些问题。那我们来看一下今天非常精彩的 dialogue A. The dialogue, 情境对话 Sir, I think I've got a breaking story here. Okay, what's the scoop, Roberta? I just got a call from a reliable source. He said he can confirm that the government signed a new trade deal with the U.S. Who is your source? I can't name him. He's not supposed to go to the press yet, but he wants to get the word out.、Uh, you'll need to get this information confirmed by at least two more sources. That could take days, sir. If we wait, every newspaper, website, and TV and radio station in the country will have already reported on it. If we go to print now, we'll have an exclusive story. It just sounds too risky to me. So you'll need to get confirmation. The explanation, 内文讲解 Okay, taking a look at our dialogue A, we start out. Newly hired journalist Roberta approaches her supervisor.、Mm -hmm. Okay, newly hired journalist. We're using like an adjective phrase here.、Mm. Uh, she's newly hired,、mm -hmm. so they just hired her.、Mm -hmm. When we hire somebody, that means you pick somebody to do a job at your company.、Mm. So you've been hired. So she's newly hired. She's a new reporter or a new journalist. Her name is Roberta. And she approaches her supervisor. So maybe she is. We can say approach means to walk up to somebody,、mm -hmm. or、uh, it may it might mean you want to present an idea to somebody. So you're approaching them with an idea. Okay, so today we're talking about newly hired. Newly, it is a verb. It combines hire. Hire is a verb for hiring. So it is a new employee. So it is a journalist. It is a journalist. It is a reporter. It is called Roberta. It is how she approaches. Her supervisor. 刚刚 Stevie 说 approach 代表是靠近的意思。Yeah. 那靠近的话，这个时候的靠近可能是要呃、uh, 跟你讲一些资讯，或者是说他有一些什么新的想法要告诉你。所以他靠近他的谁？他的 supervisor 就是他的上司，他的长官。Right. So moving on into the dialogue, Roberta says, "Sir, I think I've got a breaking story here."、Mm. Now, when we talk about news, you hear this a lot in English news. A breaking story. When we say it's a breaking story, it means it's breaking out. It's just about to happen, or it's happening right now. Right. So she says, "I think I've got a breaking story here. I think I have a story 
that's about to happen, and I want to tell you about it. Hmm. Okay. So he said, "Sir, I think I've got a breaking story here." He said, "He said, 长官，我觉得怎么样 ？I got a breaking story." 刚刚 Stevie 有说 ，breaking story 就是所谓的即时新闻。我们讲说 breaking story 或是 breaking news， 嗯哼，都是讲说即时新闻。所以他跟他的长官说，非常的紧急。为什么？因为我现在这边有一个突发的状况，有一个紧急的新闻要告诉你。So you also say breaking story in Chinese. Breaking story, breaking news. Uh, we will talk about emergency news. Oh, okay, cool.、Mm. Now the supervisor says, "Okay, what's the scoop, Roberta?" Now, when we say "what's the scoop,"、uh, we're talking about. Think, I mean, you think of an ice cream scoop, a spoon, right?、Mm. Uh, this is a little bit different. In news, if you say "what's the scoop." It means tell me what the story is.、Mm. Uh, so what what's going on? What's what's happening? And so we say, what's the scoop? Meaning, what's the story? Tell me what's going on. Hmm. Okay. So scoop. 通常我们讲说是一池，就是当你讲说有挖冰淇淋一池。Yeah. A scoop. 所以大家有时候他说 ，OK, what's the scoop? 但是我们在讲新闻的时候，我们讲 scoop 是说就是你告诉我这个事情的来龙去脉，事情到底发生了什么事情。所以长官问他 ，OK, what's the scoop? 就讲说到底发生什么事了。Yeah. And in a few moments,、uh, in our tips in use, you can learn a little bit more about scoop. Now Roberta says, "I just got a call from a reliable source." Now I just got a call. I just received a call. Yeah, somebody called me, and she says it's a reliable source. Now reliable, a reliable source means one that you can trust, one that you think is. We could say you can trust or trustworthy. They're reliable. Hmm.、Mm, okay. So we're today saying, I just got a call. So 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 I just got a Uh, we could say Gary found out from reliable sources that company is going to close. Oh, okay. So, so Gary 呢，他从可靠的消息人士那边，他知道什么？公司快要 close， 快要倒闭了。嗯哼。Uh, then moving on, she continues. Okay, I just got a call from a reliable source, and he said my source said he can confirm. That the government has signed a new trade deal with the U.S. Okay, the government has signed a new trade deal. We hear this kind of thing, you know, some things about international trade, and she says he can confirm. He says that this is true, and if she says this is the scoop, then. Probably nobody else knows it yet. Hmm. Okay. So he says it's a secret news. So he says what? His source can confirm. He 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 can And confirm is one of our words and phrases today.、Uh, we use this word a lot to confirm information, or even to confirm a plane ticket or a hotel room.、Uh, for instance, you need to confirm your reservation. At least one day before your flight. Hmm. Okay. That's actually good advice. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So confirm 就是讲说确定，再去确定一次，再去 check 一次。所以说刚刚的例句讲说，你必须至少在你搭乘班机前一天之前确认你的定位。And your seat too. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so the supervisor says, "Hmm, who is your source?" You know, tell me who your source is.、Mm. Let, let's see how reliable this is.、Mm, right. So, so, 当然长官就要问呐、啊，你的 source 知道这个这么大的一个消息，那你就直接告诉我你的消息来源是谁。所以 ，Who is your source? And she says, "I can't name him." Okay, we hear this a lot in news too.、Uh, sometimes we hear an unnamed source, a source with no name. But in this case, she says, "I can't name him." 
I can't give out his name. Hmm. Okay. So we often in the news we see that I can't name him. That is, I cannot give out his name. In the news, there are many people who are known as the Red Hood or the Unknown Person. We cannot give out his name. Right. And then she says, "Why?" She says, "He's not supposed to go to the press yet." Now, the press is basically the media、mm-hmm. or the news organizations. So he's not supposed to go to the press. Does this mean he's going to go to the newspaper office or to the news station? No. This means the information is not supposed to go to them yet.、Mm. So he's not supposed to tell anybody yet. But he wants to get the word out. He wants to spread the word, get the word out. He wants to tell everybody. This is happening. It's a good thing. Hmm. Right. So he says he's not supposed to go to the press yet. We say press means media news. But actually, it doesn't mean going to a press conference or something. But he says he's not supposed to go to the press yet. We say press means media news. But actually, it doesn't mean going to a press conference or something. But he says he's not supposed to go to the press yet. We say press means media news. But actually, it doesn't mean going to a press conference or something. But he says he's not supposed to go to the press yet. We say press means media news. But actually, it doesn't mean going to a press conference or something. But he says he's not supposed to go to the press yet. We say press means media news. But actually, it doesn't mean going to a press conference or something. But he says he's not supposed to go to the press yet. We say press means media news. But actually, it doesn't mean going to a press conference Uh, this is actually one of our words and phrases.、Uh, we see this a lot,、um, mm. you know, especially in when like a star comes to Taiwan、yeah. or they're outside on the street and the media runs after them, and、uh, so we call that the press.、Mm-hmm. Uh, we have an example sentence you can check out. The press surrounded the witness as she came out of the courthouse. Hmm. So, so, 证人呢一走出法院，大批的记者就上前把他围住了 Yeah.、Uh, we also have word in this sentence to get the word out. In this case, word means like a piece of information. Hmm. 就是指一个讯息，一个消息，它是不可数名词 ，is uncountable. Yeah. Okay.、Uh, for instance, word of the protest. Quickly spread. It quickly got around. People、mm. heard about it quickly. Okay, so the protest news, word of the protest, is that this protest news quickly spread. It spread quickly. 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 It spread Okay, confirmed. You need to make sure this information is correct by at least two more sources. Now, this is kind of weird. If it's、uh, if it's like a press secretary or the president giving a story out, you only need one source. That's right. Okay, <laughs> but here he's not sure who this person is, so he says you need to get at least two more sources. You need to check with other people and make sure this is correct. Hmm. Because actually, in doing news, when we, 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 跟你讲同样的一个讯息，同样可以确认， mm-hmm. 你才可以去发布。And Roberta says that could take days, sir. That could take a long time. Yeah, 他说 that could take days, sir. 他说他现在就想要把它发出去，可是你还要至少我去 confirm 两个人的话，要花好多天呢。Yeah, she says if we wait, every newspaper, website, and TV and radio station in the country. Will have already reported on it, so all of these other news sources will have already reported on it by the time I get that information from two other sources. Hmm, that will be a big news. So, if I have to wait so long, then at some point, more than the other newspapers, the 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 newspapers, 这个、国家里面所有的媒体可能都已经在报道了，只有我们还在等。And then she says, if we go to print now, go to print is one of our words and phrases. It means if we if we put it out in the paper, if we put it out in the news or in our magazine right now, we'll have an exclusive story.、Mm. Exclusive it means you know we'll be the only ones to have it. 
独家， yeah. 独家。所以说，所以说 ，if we go to print now， 如果我们现在就赶快把它出版的话呢 ，we'll have an exclusive story。我们现在就是做独家新闻。Uh, for instance, you know, go to print. We see used a lot in、mm. magazines.、Uh, for instance,、uh, the magazine is checked thoroughly for mistakes before it goes to print. Before it's printed out. Yeah, that's very important. We say magazine. In our case, when we send it to print, we always check it thoroughly. Yeah. So、mm. that's very important. Yeah. So 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 you'll need to get confirmation. It's too dangerous. We don't want to put a story out that's wrong. You need to check. Okay, so his boss told him it sounds too risky to me. He said, "For me, it sounds too risky to me. 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 It Something a little bit dangerous, or maybe something you could lose money on.、Mm, right. So, so risky 就代表说很冒险的、很大胆的、风险很大的。So, can you give me some examples? The risky plan paid off in the end. Oh, okay. So, so this risky plan finally paid off. My risky plans never pay off, though. My risky plans never pay off, though. Okay. So that's too bad for you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now we're gonna look at dialogue B. In just a moment, but do want to remind you right now that、uh, if you check our tips and use box, you can see scoop and exclusive in there.、Uh, you know, might give you some more information about how to use those. 嗯，对，所以我们今天要学更多的一些。我们今天有一个 tips and use 的小单元，关于 scoop， 还有所谓的 exclusive， 要告诉大家更多不一样的用法。所以，我们等一下再继续接着要看 dialogue B 发生什么事情喽。嗯 Tips in use, 重点解析。大家好，欢迎来到 Tips in use 时间，我是 Sherman。今天我们要看的是独家新闻怎么说。在本文中呢，我们看到 OK， what's the scoop, Roberta？ 当中的名词 scoop 就表示指独家新闻的意思。那么还有一些其他的相关片语，例如 inside scoop 就有内幕消息的意思喽。当然啦，相似的名词还有 exclusive。这个也表示独家新闻的意思。那我们看一下下面的例句。All the reporters were rushing to get the scoop on the scandal. 这边的 scandal 呢，就是指丑闻的意思。所以呢，整句话的意思就是说，所有的记者都冲去采访这个丑闻的独家新闻。第二个 ，Several of Joyce's co-workers were trying to get the inside scoop on her divorce. 小琼的几个同事尝试取得她离婚的内幕消息。而第三句呢 ，The magazine ran a three-page exclusive on the celebrity。这本杂志登了三页有关该名人的独家报道。好的，所以大家都应该了解了独家新闻怎么说喽。那我们下次见，拜拜。The dialogue， 情境对话。Roberta, could I see you in my office for a minute? Certainly. What is it? Do you remember that trade deal story you submitted a couple days ago? Yes. The exclusive. Is there a problem? Did you confirm the information you received from your source, like I told you to? Well, not exactly, but like I said, I can trust this source. Well, I've just received a stern phone call from the president's press secretary. He said that not only was the deal not signed, but the government has rejected it. I'm so sorry. I don't know what to say. We'll be printing a retraction in today's edition. You'd better be careful about what you write from now on, Roberta. I will, sir. It won't happen again. The explanation, 内文讲解 Okay, we are looking at dialogue B now, and looking at the dialogue, I think Roberta wrote the story. Hmm, that's right. So the supervisor says, Roberta, could I see you in my office for a minute? Hmm. So when you hear this, usually you think, uh oh, 
So it's either a good or a bad thing. Your supervisor in a newspaper or your editor or something doesn't just say, "Can I see you in my office?" That means they want to talk to you in private. Right. 通常呢，我们听到这句话，他说。长官跟下属讲这句话的时候，通常就凶多吉少啦。他就说 ，Could I see you in my office for a minute? 我们要私底下谈，到我的办公室来一下。Yeah, and in English, it's a question, right? Could I see you? But it's actually it's a command. Yeah, I want you in my office now. Yeah, 所以说其实它并不是一个问句，它是 right now， 现在。<laughs> and Roberta says, certainly. Okay, no problem. Uh, what is it? What what's going on? 对，他说 certainly, OK 啊，当然好啊。他说 What is it? 发生什么事情了 ？And the supervisor says, Do you remember that trade deal story you submitted a couple days ago? OK, do you remember the trade deal story, the、mm. one that he told her to check two more sources, right? Yeah, yeah.、Uh, he says the story that you submitted. OK, to, to submit something. Uh, means you're handing it in to somebody or sending it to somebody, and they're gonna look it over.、Mm. Okay, or maybe you're submitting it, hoping it will get published、mm-hmm. in a newspaper.、Uh, submit, by the way, is one of our words and phrases today.、Mm. Um, so, do you remember the story you submitted a couple days ago? OK， 他说，所以你记不记得那个 trade story， trade deal story， 就是你上次讲跟美国签交易协定的那个、那个、那个故事、那个新闻。他说，然后你前几天 submit 就代表成交、提交的意思。所以你几天前交给我的那个经文，你还记得吗 ？We use submit a lot, especially in school.、Mm. When you hand in homework to your teacher、mm-hmm. or to your professor, you submit. You know,、okay. it's being checked over,、okay. uh, and especially for、uh, like when you graduate school, you turn in your thesis, right?、Mm. Uh, we could say Ted submitted his thesis to his professor. This is a very common usage of submit. Hmm, that's right. So submit, we more is used when we talk about schools, when we send a report or when we send a paper, we use the word submit. So we said our example was submit his thesis. Thesis is the word for paper. He submitted his thesis to his professor. 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 Is there a problem? Yeah, is something so, wrong with my story? Yeah, so he said the exclusive. He is very happy. Yeah, that one is the author. He said, "Is there a problem? Is there something wrong?" So the supervisor says, "Did you confirm the information you received from your source, like I told you to? Did you confirm this information? Did you make sure this information was correct?" Like I told you to do. Hmm. Okay. So he says, "How are you? Did you did you confirm? You have not to confirm the information you received. You received this information from your source, from your source. Then you confirm it. Like I told you to. 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 Okay. okay, totally not professional journalist,、uh, because she says, "Well, not exactly. Not exactly is something that we say in English、mm-hmm. when we don't want to say、uh, no. We we want to make it sound not so bad.、Mm. So we say, 'Well, not exactly. I didn't really no. I didn't confirm it.'" <laughs> uh, but, like I said, I can trust this source.、Mm. I can trust this person who told me this information. Okay, so this worker, he has a very big chest. He says, "Well, not exactly." 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 He says, "Well, not exactly
the very basic, basic thing about journalism. You always check your source. Make sure the information you're giving is correct.、Mm, that's right. Always do that. That's、right. journalism. If not, it's gossip, and that's entertainment news.、Mm, gossip means ah,、uh, like, 就像八卦小报，就是一些、yeah. 一些比较一些，就是那种你看到的那种小周刊、小报纸，他们的东西消息来源可能就是路人甲、路人路人乙，他的东西就是一些小小的八卦，那他都没有经过确认就直接出版的。Yeah. Uh, so, you know, she says,、uh, "No, I didn't check," and the supervisor says, "Well, I've just received a stern call from the president's press secretary." Okay, this is very polite language.、Mm. When we say a stern call, this means this person somebody called him and said, "What the <laughs> are you doing?" Okay.、Uh, <laughs> a stern call means he got in trouble.、Mm, that's、okay? right. So from the president's press secretary.、Mm. So this is where the news, all of the news from,、uh, if it's the U.S., it's from the White House.、Uh, if it's from Taiwan, you know, from the the, the president's, all of this information comes from the president's、uh, press secretary. That's the only place you get reliable information about the president or what the president is doing. Hmm, that's right. So he said, "I've just received a stern, a stern phone call. Stern 就代表说非常怎么样，非常恐怖，非常严厉的一个电话。从哪里来的呢 ？President's press secretary 是谁呢？就是所谓的总统。他我们讲说总统办公室所谓的一些。”公关秘书或者是 press 是所谓媒体的意思、mm-hmm. ，secretary 是所谓的秘书，所以他是来自这个地方。如果是白宫的话，可能如果是美国白宫，他就是所谓的白宫的发言单位啦。Yeah. 那如果这边就是专门跟媒体联络的单位，他马上打电话来了，他说了什么呢？嗯、um, ，first of all, before we find out what he said, stern is one of our words and phrases. Oh, that's right. Um. And we hear this a lot, mostly about warnings and stuff.、Mm. Like Jeff was given a stern warning from his teacher for his bad behavior. Okay, so stern 就是很严格的意思。他说 Jeff 因为不良的行为遭到他老师怎么样？呃，非常严厉的警告。Yeah. So what did the press secretary say? He said that not only was the deal not signed. So not only this, the deal was not signed. You said it was signed, but that's it's not only that. The government has rejected it, so it was not only not signed; it was kicked out. It was rejected.、Mm. They don't want it. Yeah. So he said, very, 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 with your news source is completely different. He said, not only not only was the deal not signed, this deal was not only not signed. But 还怎么样呢 ？The government has rejected. Reject 代表拒绝、否决掉了。Yeah. 政府甚至直接把它拒绝、否决掉，把这个方案踢掉了。你居然还告诉我他们已经签下来 ？Yeah. Now reject is one of our words and phrases today.、Uh, like our plans were rejected by the boss.、Mm. Like I asked for a raise, more money. <laughs> And it was rejected by the boss. Right. So, say, 说通常怎么样呢？我们的计划被老板否决掉了 ，rejected. <laughs> And Roberta says, "Sir, I'm so sorry. I don't know what to say." Hmm. Okay. She knows she's in trouble. Yeah. 就说 I'm so sorry. 现在这时候也只能说 sorry， 还能说什么呢<laughs> ？I don't know what to say. 真的，哎，我真的不知道说什么了。Yeah. So the supervisor says we'll be printing a retraction in today's edition. So the newspaper also did something silly. They printed it without checking. Yeah, that's right. So now they have to print a retraction in today's edition. Hmm. Okay. So so. 这其实就很很事情很大条喽。他说我们今天要怎么样？我们要在报纸上刊登一个撤回的启示 （retraction）， 就是我们讲说。我们可能是道歉函啦，或者是要讲把这件事情更正，或是撤回。报纸常常会刊登这样的东西，在他们还没有 confirm 之前，就把东西报出去，他们就会跟读者开一个道歉启示，或是一个撤回的启示。Yeah, now retraction is one of our words and phrases today. 
Uh, we could say the politician demanded a full retraction uh, of the claims the newspaper made. Mm. So the newspaper said something bad, and the politician said, "That's not true. Take it back." 嗯，对，所以所以呃，所谓我们讲说政治人物 politician， 他说他 demand 就是他要求，他要求就是报社要做一个 full retraction， 要整个完整的完整版的撤回启事，你一定要把它刊登上来。Now here is where I'm very surprised. Uh, right here, this is usually where if you're a reporter and you wrote a big story like that, and it's Not right, not you know, and it's because you didn't check. This is where they say, Roberta, you're fired. Bye bye.、Uh, but <laughs> Roberta is very lucky. Yeah. Maybe her supervisor likes her、uh, because he says you'd better be careful about what you write from now on, Roberta.、Mm. So from now on, from this starting from right now. You need to be more careful about what you write. 嗯，所以其实，在报社工作，如果你做了这样的事情，其实你要害整害整个报社都赔上他的名声，其实是很大的。所以，这长官算是人很好，他还告诉他说 ，You be careful about, uh, what you write from now on. 说、so、from now on 就从现在开始，你要很小心你的一些写的一些所谓新闻的一些内容。And Roberta says, "I will, sir." I'll be much more careful. It won't happen again. It won't. I'll, I'll be careful. It won't happen. Thank you for not firing me. <laughs> 这一句话是我们一定要补充 ，right? 他说 ，I will, sir. 我会的。It won't happen again. 不会再发生了。And that、uh, is our dialogue for today. Now, tomorrow we are actually going to be looking、uh, more about journalism, and that we're going to look at an article. So we'll see you tomorrow with that. Okay. See you next time. Bye bye. Bye. Words and phrases, 单字片语 One, source. Gary found out from reliable sources that the company is going to close. Two, confirm. You need to confirm your reservation at least one day before your flight. Three, the press. The press surrounded the witness as she came out of the courthouse. Four, word. Word of the protest quickly spread. Five, print. The magazine is checked thoroughly for mistakes before it goes to print. Six. Risky, the risky plan paid off in the end. Seven. Submit. Ted submitted his thesis to his professor. Eight. Reject. Our plans were rejected by the boss. Extra words. One. Stern. Two. Retraction. <laughs> The dialogue, 情境对话 Sir, I think I've got a breaking story here. Okay, what's the scoop, Roberta? I just got a call from a reliable source. He said he can confirm that the government signed a new trade deal with the U.S. Who is your source? I can't name him. He's not supposed to go to the press yet, but he wants to get the word out. Uh, you'll need to get this information confirmed by at least two more sources. That could take days, sir. If we wait, every newspaper, website, and TV and radio station in the country will have already reported on it. If we go to print now, we'll have an exclusive story. It just sounds too risky to me. So you'll need to get confirmation. Roberta, could I see you in my office for a minute? Certainly. What is it? Do you remember that trade deal story you submitted a couple days ago? Yes, the exclusive. Is there a problem? Did you confirm the information you received from your source, like I told you to? Well, not exactly, but like I said, I can trust this source. Well, I've just received a stern phone call from the president's press secretary. He said that not only was the deal not signed. But the government has rejected it. I'm so sorry. 
I don't know what to say. We'll be printing a retraction in today's edition. You'd better be careful about what you write from now on, Roberta. I will, sir. It won't happen again. Just for fun. Being a journalist can be a very rewarding job. However, it can also be quite dangerous. Sometimes, being a journalist involves going to places most people would run from. When wars break out, for example, journalists head for the front lines to get the story. This involves risking their lives to report the facts. If it sounds romantic or glamorous, think again. Italian journalist Francesca Bori recently wrote an article explaining what it is like to report on the war in Syria. During her time in Syria, she has been kidnapped and shot. She survived and continues to do her job. Why does she do it? Well, it's not because of the pay. Francesca says she gets 70 US dollars per story that she writes. That's not much when you consider it costs her $50 a night for accommodations. If she wants to rent a car, that's another $250 per day. So Bori does the job because she believes it needs to be done. In other words, she does it because it's the right thing to do.